Hello everyone. Uh, I'm so happy to have this time of sharing the word with you once again. It is such a blessed moment to be able to learn the heart of God through the, the scriptures. So we are going to uh, read from the Bible uh, before we continue. I will read in the book of uh, 2 Kings chapter 6. Uh, starting from verse 8 up to 17. So please, if you have the Bibles, uh, let us read all together. 2 Kings chapter 6 verse 8 to 17. Now the king of Syria was making war against Israel and he consulted with his servants saying, My camp will be in such and such a place. And the man of God sent to the king of Israel, saying, Beware that you do not pass this place, for the Syrians are coming down there. And then the king of Israel sent someone to the place of which the man of God had told him. Thus he warned him, and he was watchful there, not just once or twice. Therefore the heart of the king of Syria was greatly troubled by this thing, and he called his servants and said to them, Will you not show me which of us is for the king of Israel? And one of his servants said, none, none my lord, O king, but Elisha the prophet who is in Israel tells the king of Israel the words that you speak in your bedroom. Uh, so he said, go and see where he is, that I may send and get him. And it was told him, saying, surely he is in Dothan. And he said, Therefore he sent horses and chariots and a great army there, and they came by night and surrounded the city. And when the servant of the man of God arose early and went out, there was an army surrounding the city with horses and chariots, and his servant said to him, Alas, my master, what shall we do? And the servant So he answered, Do not fear, for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray, open his eyes that he may see. Then the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. And Thank you, we have read up to verse 17. You know, uh, when people are living in their life, we can clearly see that most of the time they are affected by the words they hear and what they see from their childhood. Especially when we see our community today, 
Nirebse umuryango mugari w'uyu munsi people are no longer living you know with the values you know and the culture and the customs you know of our old ancestors usanga abantu batakibana no muco wabakurambere so there are a lot of cultures and uh, different customs that have already uh, been adopted in our society ari mico n'imigenzo itandukanye yagiye yemerwa mu muryango mugari mu miryango migari yacu people don't track and see how this happened nabwo abantu babasha gukurango bamenye uko ibi byagezweho but everything you know start from you know planting certain understandings and the ideology in the, ma- in the minds of people ari kundi kintu cyose gitangira nanuko hari cenge za matwara rigera mu bantu so now because there is the advancement of technology gura kungu ari yo iterambere ry'ikora nabwango for us to see and learn what is happening you know on the other side of the world is very easy kugira ngo ubone cyangwa wige ibibera ku rundi ruhande rw'isi utariho biroroshye anything special that has happened you know in other continents we can just receive them in one day bino byabaye kundi mugabane bidasanzwe mu munsi umwe gusa turaza tubimenye so now people can get the information very easily biroroshye ko abantu bamenye makuru cyane i remember when i was young ni ukanyire muto when i was a child we used to watch the chinese movie so much you know they're like a drunken master they, yeah, this is like a, a movie name called drunken master uh, drunken master fist of the legend fist of legend who am i i don't know if you know all these you know old movies na gonzi nimba ya mafilimi yose muyazi yeah, they talk about like a fighting and kung fu na mafilimi yavuga ku mirwano cyane cyane ya kung fu those are the movies i used to enjoy so much when i was young ay mafilimi najyaga nyakunda cyane nyiri umwana so because of that without me knowing nanjye ubwanye ntabizi rero now i began to develop a heart that liked the martial arts na tangiye kugira umutima ukunda imikino nya rugamba and surely i had this great zeal that i want now to fight like jackie chan eh numba ngafite ishaka ryinshi cyane ryo kuzaba indwanyi nka jackie chan i want to fight like jetly cyangwa se nka jetly so now because of that you know most of our like a generation the kids uh, they were uh, they were affected uh, by such you know, movies and they want to also copy and live you know the same uh, lifestyle there is sanga bana bensho mu gihe cyacu barashaka kwigana ubuzima bwabo bana ngo bari bwo bazabaho today so many young people they like you know uh, the types of the music like hip hop you know R&B and so on you musa bana bakiri bato bakunda moko y'imiziki yitwa hip hop cyangwa arambi you know whenever they watch the movie uh, the, the tv niyo bari kureba ma television those are the uh, majority of the music that are being played eh uh, usanga bene yo music ariyo ikinwa cyane so whenever children are listen to that music from the young age iyo abana rero bayibonye bakiri bato automatically they also like and they are uh, affected they influenced by you know what they see from those music because they are ikunda kubera ko ibigarurira now you find like their dress dressing style uh, is trying to imitate you know what they see in the in the songs uzabo nabagerageza bagerageza no kwambara uko babonye mu ma video bambaye so that is life ibyo rero ni ko buzima bumeze we are always influenced by what we see buri gihe tugirwa ingaruka cyangwa twigarurirwa nibyo tubona human being are influenced but what they always hear and they always listen ibyo abantu babona ibyo bumva usanga buri gihe bibigarurira now as we talking about the spiritual life niyo tuvuga ku byubuzima bw'umwuka now there are also things that people have been hearing from their childhood ari nabantu bakomeje kumva kuva mu bwana bwabo there are so many things people have been seeing and watching you know since they are young ari byo bagiye babona bumva mu bwana bwabo so that is what you know makes their heart you know and their faith ibi rero sanga ari byo babyarakoze imitima yabo kandi nibyo kwizera 
Now, when we listen to the word of God, the word of God is completely different and opposite from what you have learned. Because the word, uh, the word of God introduces a new world that is different from the world we used to know. When you read the book of Isaiah chapter 55, they are uh, starting from uh, verse 8 and 9, the Bible says that your thoughts are not my thoughts, nor your ways are mine. What we think and what God thinks are different. The way we use and the way of God in the Bible are completely opposite. So we are not accustomed to the way of God in the Bible. We are not accustomed to the thoughts of God that are found in the Bible. This is why whenever we listen to the word, there is a conflict that happens in our heart. Ah, even though the word of God says like this, but me, I think in this way. Not only us who are living in this generation, but in the Bible you can see that even the people of faith also had the same reaction. One day, uh, the angel Gabriel, you know, came to the father of John the Baptist. There was a priest called Zachariah. Then the angel told him that he will beget a son. He was very old. Him and his wife Elizabeth were already passed off age. Because of that they could not agree with the angel. They are asking, how can this be? Seeing that we have passed age, we are very old. How can we bear a son? It's not possible. According to their calculations, according to the knowledge they acquired from this world, there is no such an old couple that has ever begotten a child. However, that is the thoughts of God. Those are the ways of God. And the ways of God and the thoughts of God are different. Therefore, whenever we listen to the word of God, there is this conflict arising in our heart. Then you ask, how can this be? And it's not possible. The servants, you know, in the house of Khan of Galilee, Jesus told them to draw the water and take it to the master of, master of the feast. They had never seen anywhere water was served in the wedding. So in the beginning, they were doubting the word of Jesus. It's a very big risk. However, that was the thoughts of God, that was the way of God. Which is different from the thoughts and the ways of men. Now, even though in the beginning they were uh, like judging and uh, attempting to, reje to reject the word of Jesus. Now they remember the word of Mary. Whatever he says to you, just do it. Now, they began to reason with themselves. Even though we have never seen anywhere water was served in the wedding, but he is the Son of God. Now, what he's telling is the thoughts of God is the way of God. Let us deny ourselves and just receive his word as it is. Now, to all the people who see the Bible, they went through this process. But it is not different also from us. Whenever we listen to the word, the word speaks to us something very different, opposite from what we learned from our childhood. It is different from our standard. 
It is different from what we have learned. So there, many people fall down. Because many people just insist on their ways and their thoughts and they reject the word of God. Let me just give you an example. The Bible says that whoever believes in Jesus shall not perish. But have the everlasting life. This is the word of Jesus. It is his thoughts and his ways. But when you listen to that, you begin to question in your heart. Hey, how can I go to heaven? How can I miss to perish? Yes, if you do, I believe in Jesus. But I can't say that I have everlasting life. I know that I have committed many sins. Yes, this word is good and I have memorized it. But it doesn't make sense. Or maybe it's not applied on me. Probably it has another interpretation. Just by believing in Jesus, I will not perish? Can that really be possible? So many people cannot believe in this word. Even those who go to the church. Even the preacher who stand before people and preach the word. They rarely believe that, you know, only by believing in the works of Jesus, they will not perish and they have everlasting life. However, after we realize this secret, that what we think is different from what God thinks, even the ways of God are different from ours, from that moment on we can forsake our thoughts, we can forsake our ways, and we can receive the thoughts of God and the ways of God. Now this is why we need to listen to the word of God as many times as possible. I sincerely urge you to invest your time and learn the word of God. Because you also invested much of your time to nourish your heart with the wrong teachings and with the wrong understandings. I've already said that now your faith is the, is the result of what you have learned, what you have heard and seen since your childhood. In the same way, we also need to listen to the word of God many times so that we can feed our heart, our souls with the truth. Today, I want to speak to you something very simple. You know, depending on what we see, we, uh, we, we uh, that influences you know, many people's faith. So because God knows that, God has made you know, a precise way in which we can be led to believe his works and his perfect way of salvation. So in the Bible we always see two things. For example, we can see the light and the darkness. The Bible talks about the sheep, you know, and the goat. There is water above the firmament and water below the firmament. Jacob and Esau. That means, you know, blessing and curse. So the Bible is designed to show us two things. And now darkness, you know, stands for sin. And light, you know, stands for the holiness of God. Even though at the creation this world was fully occupied by darkness, when the light came, the light, you know, kicked out all darkness. Therefore, you can learn that, you know, the light prevailed against darkness. So now, God wants to show us these two things. Things. We are born with the eyes to see the darkness. 
like a, if I say that you know more precisely, we have very sharp senses to see our sin and our weakness. Nobody needs to teach you how to feel, you know, uh, the guilt of sin in your heart. Automatically by looking how you live, all people in the world, they are condemned of their sin. Because God knows this. Now he wants to show us something else which can defeat, you know, that uh, condemnation in our heart. So the story we read today, now we can see how the prophet Elijah was always revealing, you know, the schemes, you know, and the tactic, tactics of the Syrian king. Whenever uh, uh, you know Syria plans to attack Israel, God revealed to his servant Elijah. Then he warned the king of Israel. They will come on this day and this hour. They will pass by this way. Because of that, Israel was ready to uh, now. Uh, defend themselves. The king of Syria was defeated many times. To, to the point that he began now to now uh, he began to uh, like think or uh, he began to distrust like his people thinking they are spies among them. However, their servants told him openly. You know, there is no betrayer betray among us. That is the servant of God who is in Samaria. His name is Elijah. God reveals to him all your schemes of the war. Because of that now, king attacked now specifically the house of a uh, servant of God, Elijah. So many soldiers of Syria now surrounded his house. The king of Syria wanted to destroy the servant of God, Elijah. Now, when the servant of Elijah came out, he was shocked to see a very big, you know, uh, like number of soldiers surrounding their house wanting to kill them. That is the story we read today. In the heart of this servant, it was filled with great, you know, fear and worries. However, when he spoke to his master, now his master told him something very, you know, different from what he thought. So we can read here 2 Kings chapter 6. Verse 16. Now we can read here 2 Kings chapter 6. Verse 16. So he answered, do not fear for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. Now the servant of Elijah could not understand. He must know what I'm talking about. We are, we are surrounded by big enemy. And they want to kill us. However, in the eyes of Elijah, he could clearly see the soldiers of Syria. He could clearly see the soldiers of Syria. However, he could see something else. What is it? The army is sent by God. This is why he told his servant, Do not fear. For those who are with us are more than those who are with them. Verse 17, Then Elisha prayed for him. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray, open his eyes that he may see. Then the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of the fire around Elisha. Now, 
abona umusozi wuzu ya mafarashi n'amagare by'umuriro bigoserisa Now when Elijah prayed for him ubwo Elisa yamusengeraga The servant he could see something new which he could not see with his own eyes Uyu mugarago yaje kubona ikintu gishya tari yarigeza abona mu maso What could he see with his eyes Niki atabashaka kubona Only great trouble Yaje abona mako agusa Only see death However, he did not have the eyes to see the works of God. Everyone, this is the story of our salvation. Whenever we look at ourselves, we see sin that has, you know, surrounded us. We see condemnation that has dominated our heart. We only see destruction ahead of us. However, people don't have the eyes to see the work that God has done. Even though there are a lot of sins in our heart, but already 2,000 years ago, God gave Jesus Christ as the solution of that sin. And Jesus came in order to give us peace as an everlasting life. Why don't you look at him? Why do you only see sin and condemnation surrounding you? The servant of Elijah is the image of all of us. However, God commanded so that we can not only see sin in our life, but we can also see the works of Jesus and his blood. You know, when you read in the book of Genesis chapter 9, here there is a story I like so much. You know, when Noah came out of the ark, uh, now he could be sometimes, you know, tormented and he could be traumatized by the deadly, you know, uh, 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 flood that destroyed all men. You remember the flood, you know, had destroyed all living things on the, on the, on the surface of the world. Now when he came out of the ark, Whenever he saw a thick cloud, it reminded him of a great you know, rain you know, and flood that hit the world. So he could be tormented so much. Because of that, God gave him a promise. We can read Genesis chapter 9, verse 13 and 14. Genesis chapter 9, verse 13 and 14. I set my rainbow in the cloud, and it shall be for the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. It shall be when I bring a cloud over the earth that the rainbow shall be seen in the cloud. Verse 15. And I will remember my covenant which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. The waters shall never again become a flood to destroy all flesh. Now, this is the covenant of God to Noah. When you see the thick cloud, or oh, you will think that I'm going also to destroy you. Because you are also evil, you are also sinful. But whenever I bring a thick cloud over the earth, the rainbow also shall appear. Now what is the thick cloud? It stands for the sin that condemns us. What about the rainbow? Rainbow stands for the perfect works of Jesus Christ. The atonement that was made for us to be forgiven of our sin. 
impongano yatanzwe kugira ngo ibya byacu bibabarirwe so God did not only show us you know condemnation nabwo rero imana itwereka gucirwa iteka gusa God show also the sign of salvation to overcome that condemnation ahubwo itwereka n'ikimenyetso cy'agakiza gituma tunesha urwo rubanza rw'icyaha God did not only show Elijah the great armies of Syria nabwo imana yeretse Elisa ingabo zikomeza abasiriya gusa but God also showed him you know the great armies of God you know the horses and chariots of fire surrounding them ahubwo imana yamweretse ningabo Uh, imana yoreje zamagare namafarashi muriro however his servant could not see that gusumugarago ni abashaka kubibona i don't know if you remember the story of the israelites journeying in the wilderness sinzi nimba mwibuka inkuru ya bisirayeli ubwo bari bari mu bacha mu butayo because of the complaint now they were beaten by fire serpent bari totomje witeka abateza inzoka zusaga utwika and they prayed so much so that the serpents can be taken away bararize cyane basenga ngo imana ibakure amizo nzoka however god did not take them away ariko imana nigeze bakura mu remain them there irazretse however he told them you make a bronze serpent and you hang it on a pole ahubwo yarabwiye ati mureme ininzoka mu muringa mu imanike kugiti so that whoever sees it will overcome the poison of the snake anyuma zajya yire bazajya nesha usagwe bw'inzoka now although there are so many deadly snakes nubwo hari inzoka nyinshi zica but god also showed the bronze serpent imana yaberetse ninzoka y'umuringa and the bronze serpent can overcome all the fear you know and the terrors you know brought by the fairy serpent inzoka y'umuringa yajya gikura ubwoba no gwagari ku mutima byazanwaga n'izi nzoka zusagwe butwika the fairy serpents are the condition to condemn us izi nzoka zusagwe utwika ni ibintu bidutera gwagari ku mutima no kwicira witeka our sin our weakness ibya byacu ni negenye dufite however the bronze serpent stands for the perfect works of jesus at the cross ariko inzoka y'umuringa yagarare imirimo ya yesu yakoreye ku musaraba then what do you see in your life no ni iki gihona mu buzima bwawe do you only look at your sin yesu bona ibya byawe do you only look at your weakness when in negenye zawe don't you see the works of jesus that can overcome your sin and your weakness no go ko kubona imirimo ya yesu inesha ibya byawe Every time God has shown this into two images. Yes, there are your sins that condemn you. But also there is the solution of sin that is the blood of Jesus that sanctified you. So whenever we see sin and condemnation, God has also prepared Jesus who can overcome it. Why don't you look at Jesus also? Yesu. Why do you only see your weakness? Kuchiwoni nagenye zawe gusa. And this is why people judge themselves. Ibituma abantu bicira ubanza. They always condemn themselves because of sin. Buri giye bicira witeka kubera ibyaha. However, if you are able to see also the perfect work of Jesus at the cross. Ariko nimbubasha kubona imirimo ya stunganya yakoreye ku musaraba. You can overcome all that judgment. Ushaka kunesha n'urwo rubanza. Allow me to conclude by reading uh, one verse in the book of uh, Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2 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 Looking unto Jesus the author and the finisher of our faith who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross despising the shame and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God Dutumira Yesu wenyene ari we banze je kwizera kandi ari we gusoza rwose yangani umusaraba kubwa ibyishimo byamushyizwe imbere niyita ku isoni zaho yicare buryo bw'intebe y'Imana so the bible is saying looking unto jesus yabango dutumbira yesu wenyine don't just look at your works nokatumbira imirimo yawe don't just look at your sins nokatumbira ibya bya because if you look at them you will judge yourself condemn yourself and you will be uh, sent to hellfire nokatumbira ibya bya we uzicira witeka kandi But now the Bible says looking unto Jesus. God told Noah look at the rainbow. It's a promise that I will not destroy you anymore. In the wilderness God told Israelites look at the bronze serpent. It shall overcome you know the uh, poison of the snake. Irabwiye ati muzanesha busabwe bw'inzoka 
butwika and also God you know told the servant of Elijah Imana yabwe no mugarago ari wa Elisa look at the great armies of fire and shadows of fire ati ni murebe amagana amafarashi mu riro bagose you will overcome the fear of destruction icyo giranesha ubwoba no gwagari ku mutima kugiye kurimburwa everyone even us to the God is speaking unto us Dero nubwo imana ivugana natwe looking unto Jesus iratubwira ngo mutumbire Yesu until when you keep looking at your weakness Yesu azageza he kureba cyangwa gutumbira integenye zawe until when you keep looking at your sins uzageza ryari gutumbera ibyaha byawe you cannot help but to be only condemned nubikora gutyo namahita muzageretse kwicira witeka but God has prepared two things Hari kimana dute kuri ibi byombi There is the darkness that stands for our sin Hari umwishimu hagarariye ibyaha byacu There is also the light that stands for the righteousness of God the perfect works of Jesus at the cross Hari kwari numucyo hagarariye imirimo ya Yesu Kristo tunganye yakoreye ku musaraba Which one defeat the other Niki kinesha kindi There is no even a single day darkness has ever defeated light Na munsi no umwe umwishima wanesheje umuke So the perfect works of Jesus and his blood you know can cover all of our sin and give us perfect righteousness Dere mirimo ya itunganye bashaku ke muri kibazo cy'icyacu mu buryo utunganye I really hope you meditate this word Ndiye ko ya magambo mwayi mwayimvira And I hope that God gives you the new ears the new eyes to see the perfect works of Jesus that washed away your sins. Kandi ngiye ko mwahabwa amaso mashya abasha kubona imirimo ya Yesutunganye yogeje bya byawe. Thank you very much. Rakoze cyane. Let us pray and you can conclude. Reka dusenge dusoreza. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this great opportunity. Data mwishye tugushimira amahirwe akomeye. Father, Satan has been showing us our weakness and our sins. Tutani yakomeje kutwereka intege nke zacu n'ibya byacu. This is why we could only judge ourselves. Ibi tuma twicira urubanza. But Father, I believe that you also gave us Jesus so that we can look unto him. Ariko data nizera ko wadwa Yesu ngawere dutumbira. Then we shall overcome fear. Bitye tunesha ubwoba. Sin and condemnation now hard. Icha no kwicira kwiteka mu mutima. Thank you Lord. Keep blessing all these sessions. Komezo mugisha uyu mwanya ushamba kimana. So bless all people who will be listening. Kandi we numugisha bateza amatwi rishamba kimana. Father we thank you. Data turagushimye. We pray all these things in the name of Jesus. Just to send them with sinaje ya Yesu. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Rakoze cyane. I hope you can meet once again. Eh niringiye ko tuzasubira.